Today's video is sponsored by Artlist. Hey everyone, Flo from After Lens here. Today we're going to talk about gear, but not our usual filmmaking gear. Most of the time when I discuss gear we talk about cameras and lenses, as they are the things that we are most interested about and the ones that we actually care about. But we don't talk as much about the little things that are essential to a freelance filmmaking kit. So here's a quick video of my most used secondary items. Before I start, be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one, and let's get into it. One, international power strip. I bought this power strip last year since I have a lot of different powered items from different countries. With this one, you can actually choose your AC cord. I picked Europe, and the three plugs are actually all international, so you can use whatever you want. On top of that, you also have three USB ports. When I go on a shoot, I basically use this to charge my camera batteries, phone, small lights, and my drone. I also use it to power my laptop. I love this so much that I bought another two, one for my wife's studio and another one for me for my permanent YouTube setup. Two, USB battery chargers. For years, I had been using regular chargers for both my USR and BMPCCs. Last year, when I started using the 6K Pro, I wanted to get a dual charger, so I bought this cheap newer one, and it's been amazing. In addition to being able to charge two batteries at the same time, and being inexpensive, it is USB powered. This means that I can use this charger with any regular USB port, such as my power strip, a power bank, and even in a car. It's also very light and slim, and I actually carry this one in my backpack at all times during shoots since USB ports are pretty much everywhere. 3. Camera straps If you have been following me for a while now, you know that I love my Peak Design straps. I have three of them for different weights and cameras. Camera straps are definitely not exciting items, but these Peak Design ones are definitely worth it. The quick release system is ridiculously handy, and I don't think I can actually go back to using a regular strap. I use them with my 6K Pro, my EOS R, and even with the Ursa 12K. They're pricey, but very comfortable, and again, the way you can quickly attach them is quite helpful for someone like me that shoots handheld a lot. 4. Hard drives Whatever type of filmmaking you do, hard drives are an essential part of your kit. I always get asked about what I use and for what purpose. So I use fast SSDs such as the Samsung T5s and SanDisk Extremes when I travel since they're very small, as well as when editing since they're also very fast. At home, I have two high-capacity GTEC desktop hard drives that I use for storage and sometimes editing. They are quite pricey since they are Thunderbolt, but good value since they are between 10 and 20 teras. And finally, I have a lot of cheaper regular hard drives for archiving and sometimes for travel content. 5. Light stands Light stands are not the most exciting purchase, but they are very useful and will last a very long time. Since I travel a lot, I have a couple of lightweight Westcott ones that I use with small lights and for my boom arm. Then I have a couple of cheap heavier ones from Impact that I can use with my Aperture 120D and other heavier accessories. I also have a wheel base stand that is super handy for lights as you can drag it around, but it is quite expensive and very heavy. 6. Reflectors Reflectors were one of my earliest purchases and their use can vary a lot from interviews to product shoots. I use them to diffuse light as well as blocking it. I have three different sizes of 5-in-1 reflectors, a 20-inch, a 40 inch, which I use the most, and also a bigger 40 by 60. 7. Gaff tape. Now, gaff tape is not only useful in filmmaking, but also in everyday life. I always buy a couple of rolls of different colors and always bring one or two on shoots. From taping cables to labeling to marking on a floor, the use of gaff tape is nearly unlimited. 8. Cloth. In each of my main camera bags, I always have a cloth. As you can probably guess, I use them to clean lenses filters, monitors, as well as laptops when needed. As a tip, make sure you have more than a few, as for some reason they always seem to disappear. 9. Rocket Blower If you shoot outdoors a lot like myself, you will need to clean your lenses a lot. A small rocket blower is perfect for that. I also use it to get rid of dust on the sensor. Cheap and very useful. And now a quick word about today's sponsor, Artlist. Thanks so much again for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Artlist is a website where you can find music and SFX for your projects. I have been using it for nearly 4 years now for pretty much all my YouTube videos and other projects. Whilst I use the unlimited plan for my documentary, travel and commercial work, they also now have another one called the personal plan which is tailored to social media creators. You now have two subscription options. The yearly plan for $9.99 per month which is billed annually for just $120 and a monthly plan for $14.99 which is great if you don't want to commit to the full year right from the start. 
This is perfect for starting YouTubers, social media influencers, aspiring content creators on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. Earlier this year I made a full dedicated video, so feel free to watch it if you need more info. And don't forget to use the link in the description to get an extra 2 months when you subscribe to Artlist for the yearly plan. 10. Multi-tool If you use some sort of rig with your camera, whether it's a cage, an arm, you will need an Allen key at some point. I have dozens from products that I bought, but having a small multi-tool is much easier. 11. A coin as a flathead screwdriver This is something that makes people laugh every time I pull it out of my bag. I use this coin with gaff tape on one side as a backup screwdriver, mostly for tripod heads and plates. Sometimes I can't bring a flathead screwdriver or I forgot one, so having this in my bag at all times can come in very handy. 12. Card holder this is pretty basic, but then again, essential. In this card holder, I keep my CFast, SD, and microSD cards. If like me you shoot a lot of 6K content, then you always need a few media cards with you. These days a lot of accessories can be charged with USB-C cables, such as small lights and even mics, so I always have a few in my tech pouch and one in my bag. I also use them to transfer data during shoots using my SSDs. That's it for me for today guys, hope you've enjoyed this gear video, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what are some of the secondary items that you use all the time. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.